Today's tip is about countable and uncountable nouns in English. This is actually quite a bit topic with some rules and exceptions, so I'll just cover the basics for now. Count nouns refer to things that can be counted and made into plurals. A hundred dollars, six kilometers, three children. Non-count or uncountable nouns refer to things that cannot easily be counted, such as ideas expressed by the words money, wisdom, love, traveling. These usually have no plurals. Non-countable nouns can also refer to materials such as paper, liquids, such as water, and some mass foods like rice and corn. In all cases, the uncountable things do not have clear boundaries, so it is hard to count them. It's important to remember that with a word like money, it is this word which is not usually countable. Once you divide the money into a unit of measurement and use words like dollars and cents, then of course you can count these units. It's the same with the word rice. You don't say rices, but you can say three cups of rice. Here are two sentences which contain two common errors. Can you identify them? Correct. The box contained many photos of my family. Why? Because we can count photographs easily. Correct. We have ordered new office equipment. Why? This is because equipment is a noun which expresses an idea of many different things in an office. If you split up the idea into separate items, like desks and chairs, then these words are, of course, countable. I'm James Harvey, and I am a teacher at RMIT English Worldwide.